Hello and welcome to um, Keeping It Real. We're here with me, Rudy Liquid. Thanks for joining me. How are we, people? How are we? Right about now, um, I'm having quite a few technicals. Technicals, 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 technicals. It seems like the more technology we get, the more issues we have. The more they say, they say technology makes lives better, but in actual fact, technology creates more problems. Can you believe that? But um, thanks for being patient and waiting for me. Um, I know, is it Philly Bay, Bailey? Bailey? Did I pronounce that correctly? Um, hello, hello. Are you on? Are you on? <laughs> Yes, we're getting started. Clark, thank you very much. You was here nice and early. Um, you was not late by no, by no means. Claire Tong, thank you for joining me. Liz Harvey, Denise, Astrid. Who else is in here? Trevor. We've got Lisa. We've got Jemmy. Wagwan, Jemmy. Wagwan, Wagwan, Wagwan. Uh, what's that? It looks so mount running 100 miles per hour. Was it? God, I've got a feeling there's going to be some creepies tonight for some reason. I've got a feeling there's going to be some creepies tonight. But the, but the main thing is that my guests are here. Yeah, they're here and they're, they're waiting to talk to you. I think I'm going to, I don't think I'll be talking much tonight for some reason. Um, both of my guests um, are quite, uh, how, how, I don't know what's the best way to put it, but both of them have a story to tell, you know? Um, a lot of people used to complain that, but I got nothing to say, I ain't got nothing to say, I ain't got nothing to say. But I think that after after listening to my two guests um, later on, you know, I think you're going to find that everybody's got a story really and truly. Uh, and it's nice to see the room greeting one another. Jemmy says, good evening, ladies. Uh, so I know that he's not addressing me. Uh, Patricia talks. Patricia talks. Oh, you do, Patricia, do you? Says, greetings, everyone. And um, Liz is saying hello back to Jemmy. So, hello, Jackie. Thanks for popping in, darling. So, I hope you guys got plenty of questions for my two guests. That's one thing. All right. My first guest um, is known by a few of the, um, the Rants and Bants crew, as well as Champagnes and Giggles. Um, she's a starlet in her own right, especially after talking to her. Um, I discovered a lot more than I thought I would have. Um, but let's have a look at her before we um, bring her onto the platform, shall we? <laughs> Diane, how you doing? Hello, Rudy. I'm good, thank you. You're looking good. You're looking good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so how are you feeling, ma'am? Because I know we was having a few techni uh, technicals, weren't we? Oh, goodness, yes. I'm a bit nervous, if I'm honest with you. I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> you haven't done that before? <laughs> You haven't done nothing like this before at all. Well, I've I've um I've done well. I did um a no base like home interview, but that was um yeah. And I, I've spoken. I, I started speaking since twenty eighteen. Public speaking because I couldn't do it before. <laughs> That's the thing, though, isn't it? It's 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 funny the sort of things that that brings you out of yourself, and uh, mm -hmm. and, and gets you talking in the first place. You know. Yeah. Because I must admit, uh -huh. go ahead. Yeah, because I must admit, I did see you as, as 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 a shy introvert initially. That's how I. That's how that was the first impression that I had of you, as, as okay. somebody who, who was quite a shy um, introvert who doesn't really get involved in much. Um, more of a, more more somebody who was sitting on the sidelines, but that's not true. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> no. No. Okay. It, it, it's it's far from it's far from the truth. Um you 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 tend to get involved in a, in a lot of areas and a lot of things. Um mm -hmm. as as quiet as um 
you may be. I mean, here's a photograph of you here. Yeah. Um, and if you could tell us what's going on. Okay, so um, that was back in September. I have a, a friend by the name of Judd Batchelor, who um, every year she raises funds for different charities. Mm. So last year she decided to um, raise funds for Diabetes UK, mm. and um, lockdown brought me back to Gladstone Park, which I used to, a part I knew I've known since I was a little girl, and so. Myself and my other friend, we kept on, we were going for exercises about six weeks after we went into lockdown. You know, we thought we, well, Sharon, my friend said, um, you know, she's got to do something. So she started to go for exercise. So on day second of her exercise, I joined her and we were meant to be doing exercises. But then, <laughs> so I did, I started off very well, but then um, I started doing Facebook Live. So I was sort of exercising yeah, my, my vo vocabulary as, as opposed to the physical exercise. So my friend Judd, she used to see me do my live. So she said, Di, can, because things are different now, um, she said, can you, do, would you do a walk for Diabetes UK? And so yeah. that's what I did. That's what I did. So that was, that was, but she, like <laughs> Judd said, she only expected me to have a few friends walk and she said she didn't expect me to have all of Brent walking with me. <laughs> 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 so what did you actually did you guys raise money for that event was that something you raised money for or yeah so it was quite a full day so it wasn't so judd is from um east london so yeah. she had different people from all over so we it, all of that went to diabetes uk so it was a that was the uh, she had virtual exercises and then um later on in the the day we had we got together on um on face on sorry on zoom and there was a talk as well so it was quite a full-on day but it was for a good cause and it was an honor to do that yeah you always you always seem quite surprised when you get called in or you you get involved in stuff and it's like oh my god it's so to me it's, a, it's an honor to have you oh. <laughs> i mean oh come on man i mean we've got here we've got woods what i don't know how to pronounce that that's woods it's s c l f four who is saying that Diane is the champion of community? <laughs> That's Clarissa. Yeah. Clarissa. Oh, thank you, Clarissa. Bless you. <laughs> thank you so much. She's saying that you're the actual an, an actual champion when it comes to community, and it, and it is because <laughs> um, from from very early on, you you were doing stuff in the church, if I'm correct, when it came to teaching the youngsters and doing, um, I guess, I guess. Is it Sunday school? Is that the Yeah, so I'm a Sunday school teacher um, at a church that I was christened at, uh, and I'm on the church council. I, so I started doing the Sunday school in 1998, so on and off. So I, I'm, I've been back since 2017. So yeah, I'm a Sunday school teacher as well. <laughs> God. So what is it like teaching kids? Or I love children. children. Uh, no, no, no. So um, when I started in 1998, I started off as a Sunday school teacher and then I got involved. Um, so Father Rob, who is now the Bishop of Edmonton, may I add, amazing man, he got me involved, encouraged me to get involved with um, with the youth group. So I did, but I'm more of a Sunday school teacher, but I can I, I can teach all ages. I can teach all ages when it comes to Sunday school. I'm, I'm very good with children. I'm, I'm very good with the older ones as well. So um it's a joy if i'm honest it's a joy i miss i miss actually seeing the children but we we've done zoom um we've done sunday school on zoom we've we've managed to do two and it right. was um that, the first one was back in november and then the la 